All right, people, it's me again, the wonderful Andrew Kadogan. And today we're going to learn how to put in some backdrops, some lives, and some scores. I'll begin by putting in a backdrop, and I'm going to use the sky object that is located um, in my Chocobake tutorial folder. I'm going to select it, and I'm going to drag it up to my 2D workspace, making sure that I edge it off properly and so on and there it is give my game some color you know one thing that I want to point out about this object and I'm going to double click on it because there's a certain student in my class who have been asking me about how do you insert other objects and so on so as you can see in the properties window we have selected this area here about and what I could have do here in this case here or done I should say could go to edit and then if I wish I could import an object from outside in terms of an image file making sure that it's 640 by 480 and specifications and I could have actually do um, you know some work in Photoshop if I wish in this case I don't have an object to import so I'm going to just click cancel and here it is I could actually make some additional adjustments to my, my, to my background image and so on so this is for my student if she is listening to my wonderful voice she have just learned how to import objects from outside of multimedia fusion all right as we move on now we're going to look at the lives and the scores and we're going to treat with it by going to the insert menu and selecting the object new object um when you first load this to, to um, this dialog box here you're going to get the all objects options here which you're going to see number of objects that you could enter into your game in but for the sake of this small tutorial here i'm going to just going to go to the games objects and i'm going to select score first and i'm going to click ok you're going to notice my cross here and i'm going to click it in the left hand plane in this area here and you're going to see zero here is being showed up and before I do any sort of programming on this course here I'm first going to insert the amount of lives so I'm going to go to insert here I'm going to go to new object and I'm going to select the option lives and click OK and then select lives and put it in this area here as you can see it is showing up as three lives by default so let's move this down here a little bit All right, so what we're going to do here, I just move across to the the event editor. And what I'm going to do is basically add scores. And we will over here first with the score object here. And what I want to do basically is to every single time that a brick destroys, I want that scores to go up by 100 or so. So I'm going to go under the player object here, player one. I'm going to right click and go to score and select the option add score and every time the bricks is score in my expression editor I'm going to set 100 I'm going to click OK right I'm going to save my application I'm going to run it and you will notice that every time that the bricks destroys it sets to 100 it increments by 100 All right, people, the other part is we're going to deal with the lives, and this one is a little bit more complicated, so bear with me. All right, with the lives, I am going to go under new condition, and I'm going to test the position of ball cooler. So I'm going to select here. And when I reach in this area here, I would want that every single time that the ball exits at the bottom, so I'm going to select here and click OK. Right? I would want the first the player to lose um, a life and then for the ball to reposition back on the screen. How do we do this? Firstly, we would go to the under the player object. I'm going to right click and we'll go to number of lines and I'm going to subtract number of lines. And we're going to press 1 in the expression enter editor. So every time the ball goes out, one of the lives will be lost. 
and uh, as I'm here I could add a song if I wish so I could right click play sample music play sample and I could browse within my folder select the option down select OK and before I go back there I would go to edit and select the option uninterrupted uninterrupted means that the music would play out no matter what despite the fact that whether or not if the game stop or pause or any other noise in the background alright what I want to do too as well with ball is that every single time that the ball has gone out so I'm going to play the game here we need to make sure that the ball reappears back on the screen so what I'm going to do basically is that I'm going to go to this object with ball I'm going to set the option position by setting position and the ball so it will appear back on the screen and I can put the position of the ball right here if I wish you could start right back here wherever you could put it, it doesn't matter and click OK however what I want to do too as well is to set the direction so I'm going to set a direction too as well and in terms of where I would want the ball to start so I'm going to clear one and set my direction here so I want the ball to bounce upwards because I don't want it to bounce sideways it will be very difficult because of the pace of the ball and maybe keep on going out all the time so I'm going to select OK I'm going to save I'm going to run to see if what is taking place here so I'm going to run my frame I'm going to see if it goes out and see if that it appears again you hear any background noise and everything as well as the game play I'm going to press escape now now one more thing that I want to do is let me just add a new condition because I would want to have us uh, have um, this game playing all the time so I'm going to go to storyboards control alright I'm going to right click and I'm going to say by the start of the frame I would want music to be playing all the time so I'm going to select the option music I'm going to go to play music and go to browse for my file I'm going to select the option impact in the choco breaker um, folder I'll click OK and what this will do when I do this when I set run you will hear that a game is being played one the music is being played in the background one time that will give your game some form of um, you know um, constant music being played alright so when next we come back we will com continue to complete our game